What up, dogs? Welcome back to Gartax Clicker Heroes. Rawr, let's get right back into it, shall we? Oh, excuse me. I am so sorry. Oh, man, that was weird. Okay, I did that again. Let's uh, let's go up in here and uh, start naming these episodes. Gartax Clicker Heroes. 239, part 3. There it is. You know what? I just realized. All of my shit has five parts, doesn't it? I just remembered. So that um, that half-assed like a uh, movie review towards the end of the last episode that I did. Fucking, I need to I need to go over that shit. I was gonna do the fucking uh, food review of uh, Dallas Barbecue that I had recently. Uh, you know, just yeah. you could also have consumed a bunch of more since uh, the last time talk to you guys but uh but until then right now we, we gotta talk about those last few movies that i uh that i saw and uh first and foremost i talked about keanu keanu's great um i basically said exactly what i wanted to say about keanu. it was a fun movie i was expecting some weird weird cheesy crazy antics but i didn't get that i got a more solid movie i thought it was pretty hysterical uh laugh out loud moments definitely good time good times for all it's on sale for like three bucks or four bucks or some shit like that on google play if you want to check it out so uh, it's definitely worth it um what else oh yeah batman the killing joke holy shit you guys okay so i've read the comic batman the killing joke, uh with all of the subject matter attached to it uh, what they did hold on Uh, what they did with Batman the Killing Joke is they added the the little story that comes beforehand, the, the little uh, lead up to uh, that story. Oh shit, my back. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, give me a second to readjust the game. All right. What they did with Batman the Killing Joke is they, they did Batman the Killing Joke. Uh, but before that storyline. They give a little bit of like a lead up to it, as if it was like an actual like movie, and it did like reach like uh, like an hour, like a little over an hour. It's like an hour fifteen minutes, not feature uh, movie length, because it has to be minimum uh, ninety minutes. Uh, this is like seventy five minutes um, long, but uh, but they did have like an entire like beginning like prologue part of the Killing Joke uh, to lead up into like. The Killing Joke, which I think was very smart, because when I read The Killing Joke, yes, I, I understand, yeah, so I, I knew about the the characters beforehand, the circumstances and whatnot, but I believe as a movie, you gotta have, like, all that backstory happening, too. especially, especially if the, if the audience is, like, uh, not avid rock reviewers, and which you know, people going into a DC you know, is uh, probably not gonna watch it because they're comic book nerds. They want to watch it because like, oh hey, cool, uh, Batman animated movie with the Joker, Mark Hamill. Everyone's making fuss about it. I guess I should watch it. So they gotta like get it. Uh, but you know, it's done stupendously bit of the backstory and it's you know it's you know it's like some definite like real like gritty fucking like rated r subject matter i think they only say the word bitch like a few times but that's not the reason why it's rated r you guys not at all um, and if you don't know now you know no 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 if you don't know uh, it's um you know, just pick up the comic book or watch the movie honestly the movie's like Two and a half, three bucks on paper. Like, steal it, dude. I'm sure it's. Uh, that's not me condoning uh, piracy. But, uh, do, what you, do what you want. I'm not gonna stop. Um. <laughs> but. Okay, but. Fucking. The prologue leading up to the thing. Thought it was absolutely necessary for a movie of this uh, type where it's not like a, a book that you can, like, connect with a bunch of other books. Like, it's sort of like its own standalone thing where 
people can just go in, just fucking blind. And fucking boom. Right up in it. And understand what's going on. And then, yeah, then they get the fucking Joker. And holy shit, this shit get crazy. Um, which, um... Which, uh, yeah, which, honestly, I think it adds to the story. When I was reading the story, uh, through comic, in the comic book version, you know, sometimes I'd forget stuff from, like, story to story, because I don't forget, like, fucking, you know, immediately afterwards, I'd pick up a book, read it, you know, you know, pick up the next volume next week or something. It's, uh, it's a little bit different than when you have it, like, running together, uh, so you can understand, like, everything that's going on all the same time. So it's basically exactly the same as, uh, like, uh, a lot of people back in the day, they, uh, watched Lost, uh, Lost was on television, uh, they watched Lost, like, one episode every week, okay? And because of it, they're, like, they're missing stuff, they didn't understand what's going on, and fucking confusing, but they fucking loved it because J.J. Abrams, and they super invested, they, and then they got to the end of the fucking, uh, show, and they cried, because everything was it all, it's all wrapped up nice and neat, whereas me, when I watched Lost, I watched it after all of the seasons had already come out on television, and, then, and they were all on Netflix, my, my roommate sat me down and just watched, like, 10, 20 episodes in a row every day or so, because, you know, we had nothing better to do, <laughs> um, so, yeah, we just basically watched Lost as much as we could together because I would not watch a TV show without her there because, you know, I'm not as obsessed as she was about it. And because I watched all of the episodes, like, in a row, basically, I understood, like, all the stuff that was going on. I connected a lot of stuff that she was like, yo, how'd you figure that out? Uh, I, you know, it took me a million years to figure that out. And, uh, and also, when it got to the ending, I was like, oh, that's it? That's fucking fuck uh, so it's a little bit of a different experience when you like that uh, but in the case of Batman the show it's a better experience only because you're only stringing together like two stories in the universe uh, and they directly like fucking relate to each other in an important way whereas if you just had the first story it would not be the killing joke and if you just had the second story which is just the killing joke you would not understand a lot of the, like, um, a lot of the importance of what the fuck is going on right now. Uh, because, uh, you did not watch the first part of it, the first part of it, uh, or have not read, like, the story that comes before it. Okay. So close to OG. Guys, oh my god, Becky will get her bum. I think at this point, where are we at? Where are we at? We're at 1450 with Atlas? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just. Yeah. Just, just gonna save everything that's going on right now and save it all for Banana over here. Banana! It's Banana, you guys. There it is. Oh, gee. Back, back in place. Um. There's killing, Batman killing Jeff, Huntsman. Okay, oh yeah, Suicide Squad, of course. I watched it. There we go. Oh gee. Oh gee, this is shit lit. Hold on. Let me go over here. This Recently closed. Uh, recently closed. Movies, TV, on am play this. Hold on, did I did I upload the latest part? Hold on, part two. Do I have part three? I do have part three. I never uploaded it. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Uh, what is this? 239 part three. 239 part Alright. Cool. 
Okay, so you had uh, Snow White, Huntsman, Keanu, Batman, Keanu, uh, Spring Breakers, and the Lobster. I told you all about the Lobster. Super solid film. Fucking awesome. Uh, basically said everything I already wanted to say about it. Because it's just a solid film all around. It's so good. Spring Breakers, though, I would love to go to the uh, This This skull and drink, okay? My main takeaway from Spring Breakers uh, was that... Okay, let's... Okay, my main takeaway from Spring Breakers is that Selena Gomez's character is racist as fuck. Oh my gosh, so racist. And I'm sure, like, when you cast for a role and you're reading for it and you fucking portray it and stuff, you don't want to portray it as, like, your character's racist. Because whenever... It's, it's, it's an actor thing. When you're an actor and you're not playing a character that's, like, obviously racist because it's a bad character and you're playing a bad dude or whatever, you don't want to come off as racist or just negative or a bad person in general. You know? Some people love playing bad characters. Some people hate playing bad characters because they're like, oh, it makes you know, other people in real life. Uh, but they know when they're playing a bad character. Whereas... There's a difference between that and when you're playing a character who, like, you're trying to do well because it's one of, like, the main characters, and it's not necessarily bad. In fact, you know, objectively, without looking too deep into everything, Selena Gomez's character might have been, like, the most wholesome out of all of them, except for the fact that she was a racist as fuck. I'll, I'll explain why. Okay. So, uh, so the entire premise of the movie Spring Breakers is, uh, uh which, uh, I don't know if I recommend. It's, it's an interesting experience, to say the least. It's worth it for James Franco, I think. James Franco is a story. Uh, but, um, amazing, amazing actor, James Franco. Uh, but, uh, yes, so, uh, the entire premise is that a bunch of kids from this backwoods, like, rural fucking small town bullshit, like Smallville, fucking hick town, whatever. A uh, bunch of kids, a bunch of girls, young girls, who are like in their first year in college or some shit, uh, they want to raise up enough money to go to spring. But, they don't have enough money. So, three of the four girls, uh, the three that is not including Selena Gomez, they go and rob a diner in their neighborhood or whatever. They get a bunch of cash from the register, a bunch of hundos tossing around. So they have enough money now to fuck in, uh, because they're fucking gangster or whatever. Uh, so now they have enough money to go on fucking spring break. And I have no idea where the spring break takes place in, but I think it's like in Florida, I guess. It makes sense. So, uh... Oh, God. What the fuck was... Oh, my God! Get the fuck out of here! Holy shit! They're fucking... Oh, my God! They're so... Fucking... Holy shit! They're so brave now! Y'all, I got a cockroach infestation. I... I ain't trying to, like, I ain't trying to, like, glamorize my fucking uh, situation right now. There are cockroaches in my room. I wouldn't call it an infestation. I just got a couple cockroaches in my room just hiding in various places. And, you know, I need to put down some boring gases where I need to be in the covers again. Put down some blue traps or whatever. But I just been, like, smashing them whenever I see them. But this motherfucker just climbed onto my fucking bed, onto my fucking pillow, and onto my fucking back. Like, holy shit! Where the fuck do you get the balls? You son of a bitch. Honestly, you know, it's a wake up call. I, you know, I'm moving in with my girlfriend soon. Yes, but fuck these. Fuck these things, man. Fuck them. I want I want them, man. I'll spend them. I'm supposed to be saving money, but I'll spend the money on that shit. Fucking messed up my review on uh, Spring Breakers, too. Okay, hold on. I still have time here to explain why uh, Selena Gomez is racist. 
Um, so, so they're in, so they finally get to spring break or whatever in Florida or wherever, wherever it's at. And, uh, they're ha they spend all their money on hotel rooms and fucking booze and whatnot. And they buy scooters for themselves so they can scoot around fucking all over the place. And they're bikinis and they have fun and party. And they do party. They party a lot. They party at the beach with a bunch of fucking, like, naked people. Uh, topless women pouring beer on themselves and whatnot. They party in an apartment, you know, complex. The entire apartment complex. Fucking filled with a bunch of people. And just drinking, drugging, all that stuff. Okay. But, one of those apartment complexes that they're partying at. Oh, I see you, motherfucker. I want to smash the shit out of this dude, but I gotta record uh, later. Um coming my shit hold up hold up go Alright, like, subscribe, comment if you're enjoying the series thus far. I know I am. Catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.